Let's talk about how to bring your interior design together to create cohesive flow throughout your home. Hi everyone, Liz here. Welcome to Balance and Rhythm, where we talk about interior design and ways to make the most of our homes to create happiness, health, and well-being. Thank you all so much for your patience while I took a little break, and thank you all so much for the feedback on the topics you want to see covered here. I've been working on content based on your comments, and one that seems to come up a lot is how to bring together different styles, eras, and finishes. If your home feels a little off or your rooms seem disconnected from each other, it may be that what's lacking is cohesion. In interior design, cohesion is about creating flow within each space and from one room to the other. This creates a sense of unity and calm and makes sure that your home feels right. All you need to create this sense of rightness are a few simple principles and strategies. The following tips will work well whether you're working with a challenging open floor plan, trying to mix new and vintage items, or a variety of design styles. First, think of your home as a whole. This is especially important if you have an open floor plan with long sight lines. Having the same flooring throughout your space is a big help in keeping a continuous and flowing line of sight. Using the same flooring throughout contiguous spaces and from room to room avoids breaking up the space visually and ties all areas together. This also has the added benefit of making the space appear larger. Along the same lines, consider keeping your paint colors continuous throughout the home, or at least in any open areas. This means keeping baseboards and trim the same color, walls the same color or very mild in contrast, and ceilings the same color, or you could even do them all in the same color but vary the sheen for some visual interest. If you want to vary the color in spaces that are adjacent but more separate, like a dining room, or a room that's separated by a door, consider selecting a tone from a cohesive color palette so that the feeling of connectedness isn't lost when you move from one space to the other. Next, think about how you want to experience your home in terms of mood instead of style. It's natural to be drawn to different styles, so having an overall mood as your guideline will help you make selections that represent different styles but still fit in with your overall concept. Pinterest is a fun way to gather inspirational images to see how they work together. And with Canva, you can create mood boards bringing specific elements together. They even have great templates to get you started. A limited color palette provides a great foundation for a cohesive look, giving your home a connected and serene feel. Neutrals are a great way to do this, creating a palette that stands well on its own, or allowing for a base of colors that coordinate well with more saturated accents you might want to add. Creating a cohesive color scheme is as easy as implementing the 60-30-10 rule, really a guideline, where 60% of the space is in one or two main colors used on large surfaces like floors and walls and on large furniture pieces. 30% of the room is in one to three subtle non-contrasting colors for items like drapery, rugs, and smaller furniture. And 10% of the room is in contrasting colors for accents like lighting, artwork, pillows, and other accessories. This framework for color is a great starting point for creating a cohesive color story. In addition to a cohesive color palette that repeats colors throughout your spaces, the single most important element in creating cohesion is rhythm. Rhythm in interior design is the repetition of elements in space, creating unity and visual continuity. Create rhythm throughout your home through the use of repeated elements like shapes, textures, patterns, and materials. Using items of similar color and material creates cohesion and makes sure all elements of the design work well together. To bring items of different styles and eras together, expand on your color story with similar woods and metals or upholster items and fabrics of the same type or in the same color family. You can also consider similar styles of lighting, metal finishes, window coverings, and other decor and repeat them to create visual flow throughout your home. What are your favorite ways to create cohesion in your home? Please share in the comments below. And for more interior design ideas, check out these videos. 
If you like this one, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to be the first to know about new videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.